Hello. First of all, thank you very much, Corina and team, my friends, and you lovely audience. Hope is such a powerful word that gives us courage to believe that everything is going to be all right. I will introduce you one person. His name is Santos. He is from India. And by profession, he is an engineer. You see, he always smiles. And his passion is to be simple. Something miracle happened. In, in 2019 April, he got severe pain in his chest. He got admitted to hospital. Immediately, in a couple of hours, he got operated. Even in that pain, he is smiling and cracking joke that he becomes Iron Man, the wares coming out of his body. No wonder this person is my uncle. Extreme left is me, laughing without no reason. <laughs> so this is not common with my uncle only. There are many people, they suffer this disease where the loss of the tissue never regenerate. They live with the same pain and scare throughout the life. It's same with the Parkinson disease, the accident when it happened to the spinal cord, the diabetes, the loss of vision, they'd never come back. Also, with the other organs, when they fail, there is substitutes. Our technology advanced, but we cannot regenerate the cells. In that point of darkness, when we think for a hope, the stem cells comes. The stem cells comes as an hope where you can think if we can regenerate the tissues back, the person will be normal. The function of the organs will be normal. Now, the stem cell, to understand the stem cells, we really have to go back to understand where the stem cells actually come from. What is the power of the stem cells? And if they can help us, how they hold our hopes? To understand the stem cells, we have to go to the funny moment of our life. We, everybody, man and woman, when we met, we go through this procedure. And that moment, our sperm races toward the egg. You are born competitive because that one sperm makes you all. Next time, if somebody says you are not competitive, you prove them. This sperm, when they meet the egg, they ovulate it. They make it fertilized. On, they, on and on, they differentiate. When they, when they become on the day five, the beautiful cells comes, that is stem cells on day five. These stem cells have the potency to make entire baby. Not only it makes, it also maintains our body throughout our life. It remains in our body, but in different organs at different speed. In our skin, it reproduces in every four days. In our gut, it reproduces in one to two days. But some organs are not lucky. When you get a heart attack, the cells never regenerate. The person with lives with the same scar and pain till the date end. So now I will show you one good thing so that you can appreciate. If you turn to your person who is sitting next to you, you see to his eye, the round circle you see, that is actually the stem cells. These stem cells present in our eye, they keep producing new cells so that we can see the world. Now you must be wondering, then how the scientists get the stem cells? If the stem cells are from the baby part, if the stem cells are present in the organs, how the scientists get it? Do they kill baby? They put the hand and take the eggs? The answer is no, we do not do that. Something very precise happened in 2006 in Japan that scientists discovered a technology called induced pluripotent stem cells. In this fact, you can collect the skin sample, tiny portion of your sample, doing some science in the lab. Actually, you can convert them to different cells in your body. And we do not have to kill any baby or any organ we have to take. How wonderful is it? If we just imagine it's a Google map, you take the cells, you follow the path, you can make the cells in your body without even killing or taking any organ. You know, I come from India. I have limited time. My professor always say, focus, are we focus? So my focus is 
the heart cell. So we take the patient cells and create heart. The heart cells so that they function the way, like the beat, normal function like the person's heart beat. You see they are contracting. But actually, how they contract? We have to go inside the cells. So when you see a cells, they are contracting. But when we go inside of the cells, we see there is a spring-like structure around the heart cells. And these spring-like structures are present in our each heart cell. When we go a little more, we will see the spring-like structure have a very definitive pattern. They present in an anchor way. When there is a small molecule called calcium comes inside the cell and sits, there is a contraction, and you missed it. Let's see it again. So when the calcium sits, there is a contraction. Let's go back to how the whole cell look. So if we go back, you will see that the calcium comes in and the cells contract. You want to see now the real, how the things are happening, how the bands looks like, how the calcium's moving. We create from the patient the cells, and they look like this. You see the bands? They are contracting. Same pattern like the person's heart is beating inside. How wonderful it is. We don't take his heart. We don't kill the baby. We just made his heart in the lab. If you see the calcium, how the calciums are functioning, you look at these calciums. The calciums comes in, there is a contraction. The, again goes back, then again comes in. This happened repetitively like the function happening. So basically, this, this stem cells gives us a hope to, to produce such cells, study them, and make new cells. Now, my, these are the tools we created. Now, my actual project which I'm working is creating these cells and testing in the zero gravity, excuse me. So basically, when we are cologne, you have a similar heart, happy heart, drinking calls. But when, what happened when they go to space? The astronaut go to the space. What happened? We study by seeing their, how the springs contract, how the calcium moving, how a whole lot of things we can measure. Why we are doing this is because our future is to reach Mars, to explore the moon, Mars, and beyond. When we, when we reach this, we, we really find this is, as a human being, we are so curious to explore the world. This is why we are doing the research. Now, if you see this potency of the stem cell, but what is for the ground? There is so many problems in the ground. What we are doing about the Earth? I come from India. The moment you ask me this question, my head gets seizure. Yes, 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 we do a lot of things. By stem cell, producing the stem cell in our lab, we can improve many hopes to reality. We can give them treatment. We can improve the cell therapy. We can test themselves. When we test themselves, we can really make the future better by the therapy. And it is not only about the therapy. It is about personalizing medicines. Just imagine, is when you check your phone and your friend's phone, does the, the songs you have, the friend like the same songs? No. Why do your friend will react to the same medicine? When we study your cells, your organ cells in lab, we can customize your medicines. We can give you the medicine which is less side effect to you. How wonderful will be our future when we are be healthy. It's not only about when we study your cells, human cells, each individual cells, why do we need animals? We can reduce the animal. We can reduce the carbon footprint of the world. When we reduce the animals, the topic which talk, I'm going to talk is very emotional to me. We, as a human, we lost the last male rhino from our planet. And how painful, how smart we can say to ourselves when we cannot preserve our ecosystem. Now, stem cells come as a hope for these extinct animals, where we are trying to create the sperm cells, not me, but the scientists in the USA, they're trying to create the sperm cells and re-inject back to the female rhino, which is present, so that we can revive the extinct animals. So this is what the hopes it holds. Now, coming back to the point how my uncle is suffering, it is not about my uncle. That is 30% of our population is suffer from the heart attack. This month, 3rd June, the beautiful thing happened. They actually created the stem cells, they created the patch, and it went to the clinical trial. 
how it passes all the lab tests. When we, the stem cell patch go, it can regenerate the heart cells so that it can make new. So this is a major achievement for the stem cells to, to see our hope is become reality. And at the last, I can say, we all started with the hope. Let's keep our hope alive and convert them to happiness. Thank you very much. Thank you.